Good evening, YouTube. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to install a game off of a disc onto a Steam Deck. So the process is uh, just a tiny bit convoluted, not too, too bad, really. I might have a funny setup here just so that I can record the uh, actual footage on my streaming capture device, so that's the only reason you see me having a funny looking screen here connected to my Steam Deck. But I'm still going to be installing straight off of a disc, and then I'll be installing some cracks required to play a game without a disc. Now some games don't require the disc to play, like Hawks, you see I've got that installed here. I just did a tutorial on how to do this game from the disc. Uh, and that game doesn't require any hacks or cracks or updates or anything to play without the disc. You just install it, unplug the uh, the DVD player, and you're ready to go. But this game I'm going to be installing today, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, is not available on Steam. And as far as I can tell, you can't really get it anywhere else either. I happen to have a physical copy of it, so I'm going to be installing it on my handy... DVD player over here, right onto my Steam Deck, and then I'll install a crack and a few updates, and the game will be ready to go. So, without further ado, let's get started. And the first thing we got to do is we got to exit gaming mode. So I'm going to switch to the desktop. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my disc. I'm going to put it in my DVD player that's plugged into my Steam Deck. Kind of awkward to do this while using a camera. All right, well that thing's whirring up. Where we should see it here on the uh, external devices. So if I open this, come on, I could give it a second. There we go. See Grog, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Mount and open. So we're not actually going to need that open. I just wanted it to mount. So there it pops open. You can see all the game files and everything's in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Steam. And I'm going to go to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library. And it's not going to find it in here, so i got to browse. And go right down to where that removable device is. And they've got this setup.exe, that's what I want. Okay. So now that's checked. Add selected game. I'm gonna to go to my library and look for setup.exe. Okay. So if I hit play, it'll crash because we're running Linux and this is a Windows executable. So I've got to go to manage properties, compatibility, and we're going to force compatibility. I'm going to use Proton Experimental because that's what I've had the most success with with these things. And I'm just going to hit play. Now, if you're doing this without a mouse and keyboard, uh, I recommend modifying the controls before you get started so that it doesn't accidentally lock you into like, uh, like controller controls and then then you won't be able to do all the things you need to do here so say English next okay we're just gonna run through the startup and gonna accept the license agreement and everything I have a key code I'm gonna get that now all right choose the destination let it use the default Go ahead and install. It'll go through the motions here.
All right, so do we want to create a shortcut to again Ghost Recon? Uh, no, not at this time because we're not going to be able to access the desktop according to whatever C folder that is anyway. So I'm going to say no, we don't want a shortcut. We do not want to register. Okay. All right. It wants to install some physics software. Okay. Oh, only only compatible with Windows XP. That's okay. Do you want to set up your current version of DirectX? Sure. Why not? All right, DirectX is installed. Okay, so at this point, we're all done. If this game doesn't require any updates or cracks, uh, what we would do is we go to, uh, we change the path of the game under properties and we make this match the current location. Now this game, I happen to know that this game requires both a crack and a an update to run correctly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the disc player. So first we'll take the CD out or the DVD out so that it doesn't uh, stay there. PC, DVD ROM. And I'm gonna unplug the DVD player and I'm gonna plug in where I have my updates and cracks. So for this game in particular, uh, you can Google where to find all that stuff. So I'm not gonna tell you where to find it for this game. You're gonna have to find it yourself um, because I have the files here. So I'm gonna go down to Gra, where I have, uh, I believe that is, Okay, 1.20 and patch 1.35. All right. So I believe what we want to do is go to properties, change the path to the USB drive. Got to put parentheses in for this to work correctly. Don't know why it doesn't do it by default. Put the path in here and delete the uh, very last thing because this is the search folder for where to find that. Okay. Close that. Forgot to stop it from doing what it was doing first. So this should be the patch, I believe. Yep, I want to patch it. This is an official patch to just update the game. Let it go through all the defaults because otherwise it won't find it. <laughs> all right, so that's done. Now we're gonna change it, properties browse and instead of the 1.2 we're going to do the 1.3 okay put the parentheses on it's in the same folder so I don't need to change the start in location so whatever game you have that needs patches or updates this is the exact same process you'll go through All right, so we're going to finish that. And now what we're going to do is, so I'm going to go to Properties, Browse. You're going to want to go Home, Local. If you don't see Local, like if you go to Home and it's not there, you might have to go over here to Show Hidden Files, Dot Local, Share, Steam, Steam Apps, want to go to comp data and whatever sort by date and whatever the top one is that's the one you just installed it'll have some random number it won't be the same for you as it is for me open the pxf folder the fictitious c drive 
and then what we're looking for is so we got to search around and find the uh, game files. Oh, look, Ubisoft. Now that's promising. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. And here, this gra.exe, because that's the right one. Open. I'm going to put a quotation mark at the beginning and end. Copy, control C, control V, and delete gra.exe from there. Backspace. Okay. So that'll boot the game. Now, problem is, the game wants a disk. So if I try to play it now, it'll prompt me for the disk. Oh dear, no disk. Okay, well, I don't want to have to load it with a disk every time I start. So I'm going to go over and get my crack, which is in my USB. Raw. Copy, Control C. And then go back to that same folder, home, dot local, share, uh, steam. Steam apps, comp data. Sort by date. PFX, C, Program Files, Ubisoft, Ghost Recon. And we're going to paste it, paste it in here. Paste one file. And I want to overwrite. There it is. OK. Now when I go hit run, it's booting up. It does not. It no longer requires my uh, disk, but that's because I happen to have the crack for this particular game. If you're playing another game that needs a crack uh, or needs the disk, you'll have to figure that part out yourself. I don't have a solution for that. Uh, your video card has been identified. Yay. You can go to video and you can update all this stuff. I want hi, everything good, apply. Yay. Okay, default resolution. All right, quit. So now the game's running. Now, settings to Nicole's G R A W. Okay. Now, box art. If you want to have fancy graphics and everything, you have to go online and download it. Images. All right, so. Let's find something nice. OK, I think I'll settle for this one. Save as. Gra. Box. Save. All right, now we don't just want box art. We also want a, uh, a logo. So logo dot png all right that one's pretty that one's good too so all of, like these top three i think are probably the best let's see so save as all right it's already png so graw dot png save okay and this one save image as graw logo dot png save OK, and we're going to do one more picture. Uh, I, uh, I need 20 by 1080. Image, let's see, just something pretty. I like this one. Well, that's a video. How about this one? Yeah, that was pretty good. Save image as. All right, it's a JPEG. That's fine, G-R-A-W. Uh, dot JPEG. Okay. So that's all the internet we need. We need to set custom background, and that's going to be 
graw.jpg. Nice. Set custom logo. We are looking for a PNG. So let's go ahead and search PNG instead. So graw logo. There we go. That's the one I want. And then over here, let's sort it alphabetically now. So I have to go find it. Graw properties. Change this little logo here to a PNG. Graw logo. There we go. Going to go to the library. Scroll down to where you see Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter EFG Gra. Going to Manage Set Custom Artwork, and that's specific for this tile here. And we're going to go to All Files Gra Box. That's why I grabbed that box art. And now I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you see the recent games? This is the tile that will show up uh, on in SteamOS if it's the most recent game you played. I'm going to set custom artwork for that, too. And I want to do all files. Uh, Graw JPEG open. There we go. So I'm all set. Now, I'll have to customize my controls a lot because Ghost Recon has very unusual controls for a first-person shooter, but I'll deal with that later. So right now, I'm just, I'm just going to go back to uh, gaming mode. All done. All right. So there it is. If I uh, navigate using the controller... Uh, you can see I can go to my library, and it'll be under non-Steam games. You can see all my emulation stuff here. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Play. All right, so it looks like I didn't save the control settings. So let me go to the controller settings. Yeah, see, it switched to gamepad with joystick. That's not what I want. I want... Uh, Keyboard with mouse. Apply changes. Now I've got control. I'll go to the campaign. New campaign. So I need to play with the sensitivity, obviously. But look, it's working. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter on Steam Deck. All right, and that's it. I hope you enjoy as much as I did.